So here we are. I nicely closed it up here. And well now we can basically take it off and see how So basically, you've seen all the sides are done. Also the, the concrete slate above it, which is sort of kind of gripped onto the oak beam is all done. And the next step is basically to, to put some, uh, don't even know what the word is, put some uh, kind of little more smoother concrete layer above it to smoothen things out and then we can sand it down a little bit before we paint it and once that is done we can basically put the window in. So once this is dried, all we got to do now is basically sand it down and then we'll paint. Let's get to it. So the window is, well, let's say it's so far prepared to actually go and fit the window frame in there. And the way we're going to do this, let me get the window. Actually quite heavy. <laughs> um, There's nothing really tricky about putting a window in. The important part is to get it straight. So this is a little bit why obviously, depending on the size of the window, in particular the height, one calculates around one to two centimeters space at each side of the window. So you can, you're sure to kind of be able to actually set it straight in there. Since the frame is basically screwed into the wall, um, to keep it in place uh, we have to take the window out and this is actually not such an easy task because this is a pretty heavy window it's uh, uh, three what is it called not double glasses triple glassed <laughs> don't know if you say that but anyhow uh, so let's let's get it out this is something you're gonna have to look on on your own window uh, and see what the mechanism is. In this case, it's actually super easy. The way this is done is that we have to mount the, the handle so we can open it. And then all we have to do is pull this lever down. And once it's down, we can just lift it out of the bottom part. Since it's one of those windows you can open and tilt as well. Got the handle. Let's put it in there. 
again mounting the handle is going to be super specific to the model of your window and the model of handle you use something that opens in both directions in terms of does it have a handle outside or not does it have a lock etc however in most cases it's going to be very straightforward you basically stick it in so it holds and then you're going to have to to fix it somehow and in this case all you need to do is literally turn it and you're going to have the option of putting basically two screws into the frame so i'm going to do this This one actually comes with two screws, which fit, so easy, easy. To turn the handle a little bit, put the second screw. All righty, and that's already it. Handle already mounted. And now we take the window out. I just need a screwdriver in order to pull the lever. I open the window, I pull this down, there we go, and that's it, and now I can literally lift it and Pull it towards me and lift it up and there we go the windows out and that's the heavy part these are uh, pvc windows the reason i chose those is and not kind of wooden windows although yes they're nicer and more sustainable so um, shame on me on that one but first i got a really good deal <laughs> sad but true and uh, secondly they do have some advantages in terms of durability and maintenance. Since uh, PVC windows, you know, don't need to do any maintenance uh, versus wood windows, you will have to kind of do some maintenance from time to time. Obviously not in the first years, but if you're looking at 20 to 30 years, which is probably the time frame that this might hold, then uh, you're definitely gonna have to do maintenance. All right, window. Make sure you have it the right direction. <laughs> we can just check first how it goes. Obviously, it opens towards the inside. We put it in here. We see we have a nice amount of uh, of uh, space on each side to to make sure that we're going to fit it in well. One advantage that we have here is we actually have wood above it, so it's going to be very easy to to position. And for a window at the, of that size, I'm going to put two screws at the top four screws on each side and I'm actually not going to put any at the bottom because I don't feel like they're necessary and again there are various ways of doing this um, I'm just going to put those in so I don't lose them these are just some covers for the holes in the frame and this is also why I don't put any screws at the bottom uh, because there are just some holes leading the humidity of condensation that might uh, land in the frame out of the window. And those holes, they have some covers like this. I'm just gonna clip on because they are loose in here. And I wanna be sure that I don't have, I don't lose them. Wouldn't be that tragic, but it wouldn't look that nice. All right. So the way I put them is basically I will position two screws at the top first because I can screw them in and out of the wood and basically already make sure that my window frame is straight through those two screws by, you know, driving them in and out of the wood. And then I will start basically positioning the side. However, for now, all I can do is actually screw literally the, the holes into the window. You know this feeling that you're always looking for a pencil? Like honestly, tell me in the comments below if you have a better way of keeping your pencil with you. Because sometimes I have them like in the pocket or something, but it just always disappears. It's, it's magic. It's a nuisance, that's it. All right, 
here I'm gonna put it at 20 from the side because obviously there's more stability on the side and this is where the frame needs to be well attached and same here I'm gonna have 20 from the side and 20 and a 50 centimeters from the top and a 20 and 50 from the bottom Again, this is not a rule. This is just my personal decision based on the size of the window. Um, I felt it would be good to do it that way. Definitely do your research and check out what the right thing is or kind of read the information provided by the manufacturer. All right, and then it might actually seem a bit brute to have this nice uh, new frame and just drill holes in it, but that's what you essentially have to do to get that window in there. Oh, to fix the frame, I mean. So let's do it. Usually the way you do it, you have this compressed foam and you put it around it and you basically position the window and then it slowly expands and it holds. So this is one, one way of doing it and I think it's also the one I would recommend. In this case, I was thinking of doing this, however, the foam I got, or this kind of foam band, it didn't expand enough. so. Yeah, I bought it in Germany to be honest, so yeah, they didn't really find what I required. So I'm going to do it a bit of a different way. I am literally just going to be connecting at the bottom uh, a rain protection for the bottom in case basically the rain is, is coming onto the window um, sill here. And then I want it to, to not be able to kind of flow into the house. So this comes at the bottom, but otherwise I'm literally just going to be positioning it with screws and basically putting some, some wooden pieces that exactly hold it in the right frame. So this is a bit of work, more than it would have to be. Um, but I just want it to be really nice and, and firm in there without me being worried that it's gonna shift and then when I put the window in, it's gonna move or something. And then the, the bare space that, that remains, I will literally just put some, some foam inside, um, spray it in and it will expand and then I can cut off and then basically the space that will be able to see the foam at the end, I'm gonna recover it with um, yeah, some kind of concrete or something. So that's it. We're gonna turn it around. The bottom side. And this is basically it. You stick it against the window and then you stick it against the window sill from outside. Um, I do have to point out that the way I do it is not the, such a common way. Usually, yes, I mean, usually it's a common way you use this, but you use it all the way around the window. And I personally didn't think it would, would be that bad to, to have it a bit more open at some spaces. So I'm just gonna be using at the bottom where there's actually proper water that could flow in. And, and there I feel this is necessary. I do not feel that it is necessary at the side because the concrete basically has a bit of an L shape where the frame fits in anyways. So this is gonna be, um, yeah, unnecessary in my opinion. We flip it. Let's put it in place. if it moves this is just the first screw and now when I press it against it at the bottom I can check again if I've done a good job and it is actually exactly straight of course it's still moving that's normal all right now same thing on the side as you might notice I just did like 
very bare minimum of fixing them, but at least like this. Now I can start adjusting it on the horizontal level. On the top screws, since we don't have that much space upwards here, I obviously want to have the, the window as high as possible. So I'm going to start off by putting it quite high and rather be filling at the bottom. The main problem about sticking the window in there is, is not that it might not look straight or anything, it's literally that it's not going to close or open well later because they have so many kind of mechanical parts inside in order to not only open but also to be able to tilt in, in the vertical direction that <laughs> the slightest bit of, of uh, unstraightness or kind of pulling it towards too much, forcing it too much in one direction, the frame it's going to result in basically the window not working smoothly. Obviously we can adapt it a little bit and we will do that once we put it in there and never kind of is a one one hit. But um, the better we w the work is done now, the easier it's going to be to put the window in afterwards. Uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, one, one last thing. Don't force the screws when you put them in. Just just make it enough so it, they are, stay in place. The, the frame stays in place. If you force it, it's literally going to be changing the shape this is not super super rigid the frame and um, so go easy just put the screws on do not tighten them what I also like to do is to actually first put the screws on the side where the window is going to be uh, attached and then to be kind of testing actually the window before screwing in the screws at the other side because I already had the case where then the window was a bit too low on that side and this is basically where you can then still be able to adjust the whole thing a bit. So that side I have a lot more space to, to, to move once this side is, is positioned. So when putting this in here, of course I need to check that it's straight but when drilling the holes it's basically just this direction that needs to be uh, taken into consideration. Some people recommend to basically use some, some pieces to put it in position, but once you actually fix it to take it out, I personally prefer to keep a piece of wood in there because I just feel it gives more stability. But let me know if you don't share that opinion. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. Let's take it. But once I'm done, the window is still straight. Which is good. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna put the other side in. I'm gonna put the window back, just to test uh, about what I need to do. Same as before, straight forward, hang it at the bottom, push and close it up until I'm sure that it's closed. All right, so this looks actually pretty good. I have this maybe a bit lower here. Okay. So now we can test it. We notice it touches at the bottom, not the top. So what we want to do is bring it a little bit down here, not too much because obviously the window we see here there's a lot of room for adjustment but we don't want to be pushing the luck so let's do the best possible now worth a lot so now all I need to do is screw the holes on the other side drill sorry drill the all I need to do is drill the holes on the other side and uh, make sure it's straight of course in this direction 
Mm-hmm. And then... So we can screw it. But again, before we tighten, let's reevaluate this. Because although I don't know at the right place, doesn't mean that there isn't a bit of space to move. All right, perfect. That one's there. I'm gonna check again if the window works. Flawless, flawless, love it. All right, and now I can screw all the holes. This, she want to be saying, good job. Usually you always need a thick cord. Drill with a cord to do that kind of holes and here with the new 50C, most powerful hand drill from Bosch Professional. Just goes through there, it's amazing. Anyhow, enough publicity for now. <laughs> they don't pay me anything. All right. All the screws are in, we test. Oh, what a marvel. Closed, up position, tilted. Lovely, this is actually brilliant. I don't even need to be doing any adjustment on the, on the window. There's obviously a lot of settings one can do afterwards, but it actually fits in marvelously. And as a next step, we can go ahead and fill up with foam. I added actually a bit of tape on the window to protect it. And uh, now comes the foam. like it's completely filled yet but I'll let it expand a little bit because the corrosion is more than one anticipates right so let's wait for a sec 